Okay, this is a tutorial on how to create the linkage arm and also the linkage peg for the train in Autodesk Inventor. Uh, we're going to start with the linkage arm. Go ahead and create a sketch. We're going to use rectangle on our center point here. We've got a distance of 3.5 and our height is 0.25. Now we're going to do a circle on this point here. It tells us our radius for our circle is 0.1875, but we need to do the diameter, so times 2. And then we need to go to the other end and do the same thing, 0.1875 times 2. Now we need a hole going through the center of it, and it is a, uh, let's do that as a hole instead of, instead of doing it as a circle. So we're going to trim this, and yeah, it's telling me that it's, there's a dimension there, so we're going to delete it, and we can trim the rest of this, hopefully. Delete those dimensions out, trim. Hit finish. Extrude a distance of 0.125. Create a sketch. We're going to do holes. So we got a point here and a point here. Finish. Hole. A diameter of 0.128. And it is a through all hole. And you see it put it in on both of them. You may ask why I didn't just draw in a circle and extrude that and be done, uh, which you could have done and it would have been fine. But when you do your dimensions, if you use a hole, you will be able to use your hole and thread feature uh, to tell the dimension. Otherwise, you've got to do it with the, the diameter, which is fine, uh, but this works just a little bit better. All right, so now we're going to do the linkage peg. Okay, Again, we're going to go to new part. Be sure and save your uh, linkage arm. Uh, do a new part. Create a sketch. Here again, we're going to do revolve, so we need to draw our height. Okay, and it tells us it's 0.325. I'm going to go draw the diameter in at the bottom, which the diameter is 0.0625 divided by 2. And then the height is 0.25. Now, Right there, we need to draw in our head, which it tells us our radius is 0.1562, so we can draw that in, 0.1562. Okay, now we need to do an arc from here to here. And again, we're going to use 0.1562 as our radius. And yes, it looks huge and it looks funny, but that's that's how it works. Delete these dimensions out so we can go in here and trim. Hit finish. Revolve it. I selected that. Now there's our axis, and there you go. Okay. And there is the linkage peg. Go ahead and save that, and you're ready to move on.